Hey guys, John Luxa here, back with a new le blind let's play of Missed Messages, which is this. It's a little disorienting as you move the, the cursor around, it uh, it moves the whole screen. I assume that's by design. But anyway, this game is uh, free to play on Steam. I saw it because I guess it's new. It came out on, what, May 20th? So kind of curious I like the watercolor uh, watercolor art style but it is going to be a darker game it has themes of uh, suicide and self-harm so just be aware you can kind of tell because these two people are sitting in what appears to be a puddle of blood with some scissors right here and this person is missing their upper torso or at least everything above their shoulders it seems so uh, let's begin I have no idea what to expect. Yeah, there you go, trigger one. What was that? Okay, so. So there are, uh, right, this is gonna be an artsy fartsy type game, but I'm hoping it'll be good. You know, as I've mentioned in other games, I don't mind if it's got, you know, SJW type themes, as long as the game itself and the story is good. Um, so yeah, there are mentions of suicide and self-harm in the game, so just be advised, I suppose. Man, this whole thing is a little... Man, I always have to change the volume a little bit. Like, I don't mind. I don't mind the, the music, but it seems to be, you know... Okay, so anyway... Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. It is 1.09 p.m. We have a, what appears to be a college dorm room. You have a bed, you have a little shitty desk. T and T2, you know, if you're gonna have drawers, it's important to have your T separated. Uh, you got the, it's not an American flag, I don't think. And a LGBTQ plus whatever flag backpack, hence the school thing, laptop, headphones, plants. Alright. Oh, also, something to note. Uh, this game is, apparently it only takes 15 to 30 minutes per run. Because I guess there's multiple endings and it's super short to be designed, or, or it's designed that way on purpose to um encourage multiple playthroughs, which is which is fine. So let's give this a go. I'll probably still draw it out to, you know, I tend to talk, so... Oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to finish the game once. Oh, what? Manny, I just offered to get you into my lap, and now you're... Okay, come on. Here. He didn't want to get in my lap, like, two minutes ago, and now he's gonna walk in front of the, uh, the monitor. But that's fine. I'll just maul his face a little bit. Okay. Uh, so perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. I assume I am the... Oh, do I click on stuff? Oh, I do. Okay, laptop, tea, flags, books, inner door, mirror. Let's just start clicking on stuff, I suppose. Finishing my work, I guess, is a clue we need to click on the laptop. But I'm more interested in the flags, I guess to let people know I'm gay and don't just like flannels. Oh, okay, so is that gonna go or does it move as we click on stuff? To announce I'm big gay. Yes, it's when we click on things, okay. Does that mean we're penalized? Let's click again. That feeling when you really gay and can't hide it. To let my crush know that I'm not just being nice when I say they're cute. Not saying I'm gay, but that's also kind of what I'm saying. How many of these are there? I brought a girl over one time and she saw these and said, You're an LGBT supporter? No, I'm gay for you, damn it. The hidden gay is the worst type of gay. Okay. So the question is, do they like flannels? Books! Oh, it also has the, the little writing sound as it as it. 
goes. Books with titles like multivariable, blah, 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 calculus, to let, <laughs> to let people know I'm a capable member of society. I have never read them. So you're fronting. I borrowed multivariable calculus from my roommate, <laughs> from my roommate May to distract onlookers from the more questionable titles. So many books. There are little, literally pockets of Viet Cong in the back of my shelf that don't know the war is over. That's kind of funny. Love my books. There's How to Raise a Plant, Piracy for Dummies, and my favorite, Memes to Movements. Oh yeah, one of the one of the taglines of this game was uh, was it a love horror game about memes or something like that. So I'm an avid collector of useless books from questionable authors, such as Memes to Tell Your Grandma by Mark Roney. I bet that's an actual book. Yep, we read that. Tea is the best drink. Cheap, caffeinated, tasty. Uh, I prefer coffee myself, but I do drink tea. Sometimes when I don't know what to do, I make tea. Oh, you can only click on the tea twice. Or not. Sometimes I sip tea and fantasize about living a quiet life in a small light house while writing poetry by candlelight. Tea is perfect on a day like this. Beautiful, quiet, calm. I love tea. Oh, so it doesn't even have to have the little thing show up. I love tea, and that's the tea. I don't, I don't get it. Tea is the best drink. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, plants. Let's learn about plants. Plants and rooms have proven health benefits. What are they? They raise the air, humidity, reduce toxic elements, improve productivity and concentration. No, I'm not making excuses for my plant collecting habits. So what do cats do? Reduce productivity, because they're so cute. Some people have kids. May and I have plants that are hard to kill. Diversity is beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that's fine. Whatever. You want to be proud of, you know, diversity? I'm, I'm okay with that. Like I said, as long as the story is good. Filling my heart by filling my room with plants. Hello, my green, leafy best friends. I wanted to be a cat lady, but I can't have pets in the building, so instead I settled for plant mom. Hi, plants! You're growing so nicely! That's me. Who's me? Yes, keep it up. Yep. Well, yeah. You know what's funny is, uh, Mythbusters demonstrated that death metal, or heavy metal, I guess, is the best music. It encourages plants to grow the fastest. I have no idea. I have no idea why. No idea why. I don't know. <laughs> I heard making small talk to plants is good. Good for them. But by God, is it painful. No, it's not. My life is collecting houseplants that are hard to kill, so I get all the benefits but no responsibility. That makes sense. My beautiful plants. If I'm excited, it's probably about plants. Uh, or food. I bought them with my roommate, May, to add life to our rooms. Now we have green friends that welcome us home. Okay. Okay. So what else? Inner door. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open. Now it's usually closed. Why? Because you hit on her? My roommate's door. Okay. Not much there. Mirror. The outfit must have cost less than 50 bucks. I approve, though. And we're potentially a girl. So, yeah, nothing wrong with cheap outfits. You take that money and you invest it instead. One of my friends paid 240 for a shirt. I can't relate. They are also going to be broke. Because they pay for stuff. They pay for expensive stuff now that will hinder their ability to produce wealth later. Plus, they're all about style over substance. Can I, uh... I'm serving looks today, the I just woke up look. A classic lazy look, I'm adulting successfully. Is that how adults do it? I don't know. Another day, another special occasion to wear whatever I found on the floor. I go for the, uh, draped over a chair myself. 
Pros are wearing black, hot as hell. Cons are wearing black, hot as hell. Oh, I get it. It's a play on words. This outfit must have cost less than 50 bucks. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Bag? No. Papers. My precious Madoka Magica poster, which really is just a printout. Madoka Magica is pretty awesome if you haven't watched it. It is also super dark. Uh, but it doesn't start out that way. It's kind of a realistic... Like, what if magical girls were real and actually fought monsters? You know, they don't all survive. Let's put it that way. God, they're cute. And some notes from my friend and roommate. May. You alright? Love May. Hope midterm went well. You got Boba. It's in the fridge. I assume that's Boba Tea, not Boba Fett. And the cat's always like, you alright. So, it... Is my character the suicidal one? By the way, any mention of suicide or whatever is means you're instantly uh, deprioritized in the YouTube algorithm, apparently. So, if any of you guys ever see this, welcome. Who's both distant and a total sweetheart. Yeah, we don't know why May is distant. Nice. Nice what? Nice. Outer door, door to the outside world. It's overrated. Bathroom or a go back? Uh, let's go back. Yeah, I'd rather stay inside. Never mind. I'd rather just lounge in bed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Headphones, nothing. So it's already 3.07. We've already wasted like two hours just clicking on stuff. Laptop. Arg, I need to work. There's no R in there, it's just, it's more like, ah, I need to work. So we have some stuff. Work stuff. So this is a Mac, in case you can't tell. Uh, work stuff. AX plus BY plus CZ equals D. That's probably real. What even is a four-dimensional shape? Um, I believe it's a shape over time. But when you're talking in math, uh, it's just... It's arbitrary. It doesn't actually have any thing to do with the real world, I believe. It's a theor theoretical thing, right? And then we ha I guess we have some videos here in the background, and then Goth's... Goth GF's iPhone wants to send you a note. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. Can we click on any of the icons? Oh, what's this? Should I accept it? Oh, it just, uh, I see. I believe this is another tagline. And there's a... I wish I could see the little cat thing better, to be honest. So we could work, or we could... Let's accept... You know what? Let's click on work instead. We'll see what happens. I'll make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. I was thinking this might be somewhat similar to uh, Depression Quest. Which I've never played, but is uh, regularly considered to be garbage because it's basically, uh, you know, an HTML link thing. Like, it's not an actual program. I mean, HTML is technically a programming language, I guess, but it's just you click between web pages that have text on them, and that's the game. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that after this one. I, I don't really want to play it, but I'm curious. And, you know, it wouldn't... I mean, you know, whatever. It wouldn't be good for the channel, but it might be semi-interesting. I don't know. Uh, after some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. So we have uh, 3.6 contour lines. I could work again. Uh, our divisions in the graph. Unit vector it means magnitude is 1. You know how long it's been since I took calculus? And I was never good at it. I spent 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately ending up confused. Why am I a fool? A hooligan? An oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? Orth orthogonal... Orth... Wait. Orthogonal theorem. V times W equals... I guess that's O. Orthonormal equals... Oh, it's just misspelled. Orthogonal... 
butt unit. Let's keep working, I guess. I attempt to focus back my work, succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. Maybe Ritalin would help. WTF is a partial derivative. What does it mean? A partial derivative. Replace the variable with with variable, but keep other the same. I, yeah. Is it going to let me work again? Yes, it will. I'm just going to keep working. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Well, if you're in college, it's entirely possible you will use it. I didn't think programming had so much math in it until I did more programming and took more math. And then I realized I was in the wrong major. Because I hate math. Where is Bill Nye when I need to, him to answer my important questions? Something, something, Pam, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, except it's with an A, I guess. Can I work again? How long is it going to let me work? Hmm, planes. W or Y equals MX plus B. After some time, I start to lose focus. Can I scroll this down? I can kind of. Uh, it's hard. Can I page down? No. Can I hold number key down? No. Uh, screams into void. Midterm is next week. I'm a mess. Make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. Can I grab the little bar? I can. Okay, to do. Go to office hours. 3 to 6 p.m. McNatty building room 302. Practice problems 3.8 to 5.2. I don't miss college at all. Okay, why am I a fool? Blah, blah, blah. Is it, is it going to give me the option to work? Do I have to do this? Can I just keep on and succeed for some time? Okay, so it's not doing any work related stuff. Maybe there's going to be more tabs. I'm just going to keep clicking on work. Man, maybe I... It's giving me the option. I can't say no. Or is it just to waste time? Okay, so we didn't eat. And can we sleep? Like, I feel like there's something that's supposed to happen, but at the same time... Okay, let's... Oh. Soon the day was over. When does it actually get over, though? Uh, I went out to... Soon the day was over. I went out to eat with my friends, or with friends. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. There's the roommate, May. May, you're leaving? See, this is what I like. I like the art style. It's almost like... It's like colored charcoals. Or maybe pastels. It's really nice. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. It's already after nine. Oh. Uh. I guess why? Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered. No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. She sang for me sweetly. Is that something girls do? I don't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend, too. Aw. Uh-huh, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Also, it looked like her face frowned after that. Maybe she's the suicidal one. Because she didn't say yes. She was just like, Goodbye. I eat dinner with friends as usual. I turn my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I check my phone. 
Uh, okay. Mom. Hey, sweetie, how's your day? May. I'm scared. Also, May. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. Can I click on stuff? Uh, okay, I guess it's just... When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Oh yeah, the music's all messed up. Door. Well, let's look at the sign. Don't come in, call the police, they'll know what to do. Love, May. Don't come in the room. I read the note. Don't come in, call the police, they'll know what to do. Love, May. <sighs> so, let's say you actually get into this situation. Would you go in the room? I don't know. Because it's like, you know, I would imagine part of me would be like, let's go in the room. First, curiosity, right? What do you mean? Then the logical side where, well, if she's harmed herself, maybe she's still alive and I can render aid until help arrives, right? But then there's also the, well, what if she's dead? I don't want to see that. You know, don't come in the room. Out of, well, of course, of course it gives us the option, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's go in. This is gonna be bad. The door felt heavier than usual. As I opened the door, do you smell it? Is, I saw the body hanging. Yep. The smell, yeah. The sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene. Myself, her, the police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling. I heard myself scream endlessly. She also has cuts on her arms. Do I do I click on stuff? What do I do? Oh, I guess I just click in general. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I ever heard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? Second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. That's, uh, yeah. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. This must be us. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. So first off, she killed herself on uh, your birthday. But at the same time, she... Uh, you know, remembered it and waited. Until you left. I don't, I don't know. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot, and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit. This time went out the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead, and we were putting her in the ground. Oh! Oh hey, wow, we hit the ending already! So is the goal to save May's life? Or I mean, so it's an it's an artsy fartsy game, right? Like I don't I don't mind. This was kind of powerful, to be honest. Um, the end missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? So there you go.
menu. You notice that it kind of switched to the, uh, um, it switched to the, the hanging picture again before it quit. Hmm. So I know there's, well, I saw there was four achievements for the game. I assumed it correlated to four endings, but perhaps not. Let's, uh, I mean, you know, let's do another one. I assumed there's four endings. I have no idea how many there are. This is different. So maybe this is like one of those games where you, every time you play through it unlocks a new ending or, or something like that. All right, so a heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better. As if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd missed my chance. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should start working. My roommate's door. She used to keep it open, now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. My roommate's door. I remember the dream. Let's go to the bathroom. Door to the outside world. I do what I gotta do, then go back. I just wanted to explore. I wasn't, uh... Let's go to the bathroom again. I just went. Why am I here? Maybe I'll come back in an hour or two. Well then. I need to work, but I'm so bored I can't focus. And a different picture of cats, I guess. What's this? Should I accept it? So I could work, I could... Oh, hey, here we go. We can click on different windows. Preview. Goth GF's phone. Airdrop lets you share instantly with people nearby. Allow me to be discovered by everyone. Oh, cursed images, can I click on it? No. Can I click any of the little yellow buttons, whatever? No, preview. Can I move them? I can. Oh, hey, what's that? Kitty litter, where my mouse was. Oh, it just, uh, you just grab it in the middle, I suppose. Home, made for you, what is this? Oh, different music. By the way, all this music's gonna get me content ID'd, so I'm sure ads are gonna get put on the video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I tried uh, with Tacoma, which is also an, it's not really artsy fartsy, but it is a social justice style game. It was done by the Gone Home people. And uh, they had music like this playing in the background. Instant content ID. And I tried to, uh, I appealed. And like within a day, they were like, nope. Nope. Appeal denied. It's ours. We're claiming, we're putting ads on your video. I'm like, enjoy your two cents or whatever. No, I didn't actually say that, but I don't know. So yeah, anyway. These are gonna give me content ID'd, sorry about that. Goth's GF, oh Goth, Goth GF's I, iPhone. Wants to send you a note, let's accept the note. So cute. Oh, so that's the note it's sending. Wow, I missed this the last time. I'm very sad about that, because it was a cat. But Pomeranian wearing a hat, that is adorable. Send meme back, send note back, or go back to work, let's send the meme. 
What meme are we sending? I wonder if she'll respond. I wish I could... Okay. Thank you for dog. That's weird. I hear voices. It seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Uh... Okay, well, we'll, we'll check this note, and then we'll uh, go check the roommate's room. Uh, you're welcome. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Working but can't focus. Did it send? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, there might have been something that appeared. Anyway, inner door. Door of my roommate may. Getting closer, I hear voices. I guess we're gonna be creepy. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Thailand Lei, Wei Shei Min Bu. Too lazy, why don't you? Wow, you know Chinese, that's pretty amazing. Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Distanced myself. The door of my roommate May. I wonder if I should check up on her. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Yes? Um. Shit, what should I say? You okay? I just want to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm fine. Er... Well... I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me? In case you don't want to be alone. That's very... pointed. I'd like that. But... I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Aw, oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you, too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back in her room to get something. Is it tea? When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out at the setting sun. Oh, one of those little stuffed animals that I saw on her bed when she hung herself. Uh, stuffy airdrops life. Uh, I mean... I guess let's talk about life. So, are you gonna... You know, it, it's kind of fucked up. They actually tell you, um... If you suspect someone is suicidal, don't dance around the issue. Because they want to talk. They want to talk about it. You know, but usually they're... If you dance around, they're not gonna come out and say it. So, But if you're like... Do you have a plan to kill yourself? Then they'll be like, well, yeah. So you have to be direct. Don't be an asshole about it. But, you know. Life. What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot and also not much. Typical girl response. <laughs> a lot ah uh, sorry I haven't stayed updated haha <laughs> stay updated like I'm your favorite TV show don't worry about it I just feel like I don't make enough time for you oh that's okay you're not obligated to oh yeah it's your birthday right haha <laughs> I forgot you remembered of course I did happy birthday to you. she sang me happy birthday Aw, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Dream. So I guess we're gonna try and save her, right? That's the plan. I had a weird dream. Oh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm, and I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh, what does it mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Aw, oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. 
It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. What do you dream? What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like, my most recent one, it featured you, actually. In a bad or a good way? Good. Okay. Go on. Haha, <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected, I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. But I thought, uh... She died. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Yeah, dream you really saved me. So how have you been? Fine, just tired. Oof, big mood. How so? I don't know, like a bone-deep tiredness. Day after day. Yeah, that's... I mean, that can, that can be life. So should I say depressed, or what do you mean? This one is not highlighting. I don't know if that's a glitch. Let's click on what do you mean, though. What do you mean? Like, every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like, and go back to sleep. Uh, sometimes I look outside my window and I see a whole world out there. Sorry if you guys heard that. My phone just rang. Undoubtedly spam. It's probably the Russians. It's always the Russians. Uh, okay, so sometimes I look outside my window, I see a whole world out there. And I feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Hmm. So do I say I understand, or things you enjoy? Let's say things you enjoy. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I loved doing, I'd be doing it by now. I would also suggest that doing what you love makes it work. And you should do what you love as a hobby and get paid for something that you only semi-kind of like. But I don't know what I want to do. So, is this constant, I'll help you, or you like nothing? Um... I'll say, is this constant, because if, I'll, if I say, I'll help you, maybe it's like... Uh... A, what's that word? Platitude? Maybe it's just a platitude like, Oh, well, I'll help you out. We'll find you something you enjoy. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I gotta go now. I'm gonna go kill myself. You know? So let's try constant. Have you always felt like this? Pretty much. By now, it's not a good feeling, but it's comfortable. I'm not sure if I want to change. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how. Okay, I guess I'll help you. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. They must be really good friends because normal people don't do this. You know? But maybe that's the point of the game, right? Is to encourage people to... You know... Give a little bit more of themselves. I don't know. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Stare outside, let time pass, or airdrops. Uh... I mean, so this is like the finished option from the other two. Or from the other one. Let's talk about airdrops, I guess. So there's this girl I've been airdropping. Oh, I thought it was like... The airbuds. Or the... You know, like, earbuds? I don't know. So there's this girl I've been airdropping back and forth with. Oh, about what? Memes, haha. <laughs> Cute. I hope I'm not stopping you. If you're busy, we could talk some other time. Nah, you're chilling. Okay, if you're sure. 
Do you think she's just sending memes or she's interested in me? Wasn't the whole thing a goth girlfriend? Or maybe they mean girlfriend as in like a female friend, not girlfriend as in relationship. The question of our generation. You think she's gay? I don't know. You should ask. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. I already like someone. It's you, May. Let's make out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that will drive her away. Uh... I mean, you could say I already like someone and then for try and force yourself on a vulnerable person. I don't, I don't know. That's probably not the best thing to do, but... Uh... Uh, fuck it. I already like someone. I already like someone, though. Oh, spill the tea. Who is it? Um, you probably don't know her. She's a really great friend. Aw, boo. How do I confess to her in a non-embarrassing way? What? Like, a way where you can still be friends afterward if she rejects you. Um. Ah, uh, why not ask her to the movies? Then start putting your arm around her. See whether she snuggles into you. Genius. <laughs> do the, uh, do the 60s, um, uh, like Grease, where he puts his arm around her and you go for the boob. That's, uh, that's guaranteed to work. <laughs> if there's good signs after the movie, you could ask her out for a real date. Okay, let's, let's... <laughs> okay, so, question then. If you hit on her, is, uh, will it drive her to suicide? Also, why does this heart look constipated? Let's try watch a movie with me. Would you like to go watch a movie with me? Yeah, like that. No, I... Never mind. Huh? Nothing. Let me know how it goes. I can't wait. I swear to God. May is dense. No, it's fine. Uh, so, okay. See, this is weird, right? It's like, you know, well, we know she's suicidal, but she doesn't know. Uh, okay, let's ask her about the romance life. What about you? Oh, and they're moved apart again. What about you? How's your romance life? Uh, non-existent. I kind of wish it wasn't. Why? It's just nice to have someone that cares about you, you know? I care about you, but it's not the same. Not the same? Why isn't it the same? Well, we're just friends. My friends always grow distant as I grow older. I'm scared I'll be old and have nobody. I don't want to die alone. It's okay to be alone. The only one who can make you happy is you. That's actually a true statement. So many people get into relationships and, you know, they know they're not good, they know they're not ready for a relationship, but they don't want to be alone. You know, so they keep... It's like, look, just... You don't... You don't need to be with somebody, just kind of focus on yourself. You know, when you're when you're ready, then you can go back into it. Hmm, maybe. Sorry for loading my troubles on you. Oh, no problem. I'm here for you. Oh, I'm here for you, too. I hope you and Airdrop Girl work out. Parents. Oh, yeah, what were those noises about? Huh? earlier in your room. Oh, you, uh... <laughs> you were interrupting my private time. Oh, jeez. Hang on a sec. I was adjusting my glasses and I, I pulled on them a little bit and they, uh... One of the things on the side moved in a way it shouldn't. Okay, so earlier in your room. 
Oh, my mom called. Sorry, did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry, though. Yeah, uh... She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick, angry. Yeah... You know, they say family, uh, is oftentimes the first one to fuck you over. So there's that. Some, I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of time, well, some, some of the time, they want what's best for you, and they're, they're pushing you, but other times, you know, a lot of people have narcissism, and, you know, they look at kids as like they're slaves and stuff, so, yeah. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? Ha, huh, you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything. So my parents never pushed me to work hard at everything. Or at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put an effort. That's... Yeah, that sounds familiar. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. You know, that's, uh... Yeah, that seems to be a very Chinese trait. Now my, life, now my life is slowly falling apart. Instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Uh, so, depressed. It's okay to be sad. Let's ask about depression. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant. That's a possibility. There's a bunch of different ones. And apparently they don't all... You know, it it's kind of sucks because supposedly they help, but you need to find the right one. And if you're depressed, then, you know, the wrong one can make you feel worse. So it's almost like Russian roulette. Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. Haha, <laughs> me neither. Typo. Not just about this, but in general. Oof, ha, ha same. Has it gotten better at the tiredness? Not really? By now I kinda just wanna die. Whoa. But that's the clue. Suicidal, are you suicidal? Do you have a plan to kill yourself? There was a long pause right there. Um, oh my god, sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it'll go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone would care that I was gone, not just about how I went. So, are you serious? But is this like a... Is this asking seriously? Like, are you actually serious? Or is this like, are you fucking serious? Like, in disbelief? Let's say how. We'll try how first. How would it go down? Do you really want me to talk about it? I'd probably cry. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Haha, <laughs> I know. You're awkward around crying people. Hey. Me too. Don't worry. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Gun policy makes it hard to get a gun around here. If I owned a gun, I'd probably be dead a long time ago. You know, it's interesting. Men typically tend to do uh, more violent uh, means of suicide. And women tend to do like uh, like pills or, or something like that. You know, it's kind of interesting in a weird sort of way, I suppose. There's also the whole... Uh, like, women make more attempts, but men have a higher success rate. So, 
I guess women do it more often as a, as a ploy for attention, possibly. Um, but men are, or, or then again, who knows? It could be because they choose less lethal methods, you know? And so maybe, you know, if you take a bunch of pills and someone finds you, they can pump your stomach or, you know, it's, it's harder to save someone when you, when they blow their head off with a shotgun, for example. So I'm scared of other methods. I might survive. And if I do, the pity people would feel the brain damage I'd have. It's scary. I understand, or I'm glad you're alive. Let's try glad you're alive. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. Let time pass, or stare outside. Let's let time pass. We talked more about everything and nothing, from TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Oh yeah. Before we knew it, evening dawned. Poor choice of words, I suppose, but it's kind of poetic. I gotta go, I have work. Yeah, good luck, I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. So, the door is open now. May's door is open, I wonder where she is. Is she in the bathroom? Is she going to kill herself right now? Yes, she is. I opened the door to my room. Or, I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Hey, are you okay? Well... She's cutting herself, so maybe not. I'm fine, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... I'll go, or are you really okay? Clearly she's not okay. Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I, I need to go. Okay or hug? Neither is a good option because you generally... Hugging, need, you don't just want to like grab them, you know? But I feel like hug is probably the correct response in this case. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? Okay, that's perfectly acceptable. She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet didn't want to break the silence. You know, sometimes it's okay just to be quiet. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you so sad? Or wait. So I assume the cuts aren't deep. Why are you so sad? I don't know. I... I don't really want to talk right now. That's okay. I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything, but when you need to talk, I'll always listen. <sighs> Honestly, at this point, you probably need to escalate and tell her like hey you know I saw your cuts we need to go see somebody about this thank you again is there anything I can do hug just hug it's been months since that day oh, okay May and I have gotten closer I'd even consider her a best friend in dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. That's a good... A good, uh... You know... Mental state? I don't know. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night... May hugged me by surprise. 
I love you. <laughs> no, I mean, that's inappropriate, granted. May? Thank you. Me? What for? I uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before, but I was sad, but I appreciate you, really. Aw, anytime. Thank you, too, for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you. No you. Uno reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. The end hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. Okay. By Angela... Um... I, I don't know if that's a Chinese last name or not, because we're talking about May and, and Chinese and all that stuff. Uh, is it Angela He? Or Angela Hay? I don't know how you pronounce that, but... Inspired by real life. Okay. Evan. Uh, okay. And Junji Ito. This is what kind of made me pause for a second. This is the guy that does uh, all the really weird manga, like um, uh, Spiral, and there was the whole, like, uh, shark with spider legs. And Junji Ito is amazing. You should... Anyone watching this, check out Junji Ito. Seriously, he is... He's outstanding. Um, but yeah, this isn't, you know, it's it's not bad. Menu. Well, let's uh, let's stop here because we're almost at an hour. I feel like I probably want to try and go for. I don't know. I don't know. I might I might look at the walkthrough, assuming there is a walkthrough. I don't know. Because I would like to see the other. Um, endings, possibly. But I don't know what... Uh, I don't know what the other endings would be. I mean, I guess you could you could talk to May and be like, Oh yeah, you know, we all feel like that sometimes. You want to kill yourself? Yeah, I think about that too. Oh, okay. And just let her do her thing. And then be like, why didn't I listen? So, I don't know. I guess this is May. And the scissors. Um, but no, that's I. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. It's a. It's a. It's really short, and I'm kind of okay with that. It's not. It might not be a whole let's play. I might just maybe maybe I'll stop here. I I don't. I don't know. We'll have to. I'll have to think. I'll have to think more about this. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope. This was good for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to end this, to be honest. It's kind of a... You know, I'm going to have to think more about this. Um, but, you know, if you're new here, if this is your first time at the channel and you made it all the way, welcome. If this is not your first time to my channel, and welcome back. Uh, so one thing that I do like to do with every main episode is uh, a unique daily positive moment, which kind of ties into this a little bit, maybe, uh, in that by finding something unique, it, technically you're supposed to do three. You're supposed to find three unique positive moments every day, uh, and you're supposed to write them down before bed, and that is supposed to train your brain to seek positive stuff because it's supposed to be difficult to the point where you're actively looking and then after a while it becomes a habit and it changes your uh, personality just a little bit um so here on the channel i like to like to end the episode with just one unique positive moment so what is your guys unique positive moment for today and it, it can be something simple i guess the cats are uh hidden something on the on the sliding glass door they must see a bird or something like that but uh 
But my unique positive moment for today is I went to the grocery store and I found some hot sauce that I had tried at a friend's and really, really liked. And so I got it. And uh, that's my unique positive moment. It's just a, a simple little thing, but, you know, challenging yourself and finding a new unique thing every day, you know, trains you for happiness. So hopefully your guys unique positive moment is just as good as mine, if not better, hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.